Welcome the to the view. view! The Gotham oh. West Market. The newly homeless edition. edition. Um, Yet again. Yet again homeless edition. Um, not as fun as in the summertime. Um, I mean, I, I mean, actually, I didn't like the summertime. I didn't like all that heat in the sun. And like, it was not hot the summer. I, I was, we were real, I was really hot at the time at, uh, at the uh, museum. Oh, okay, one time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was hot that day. Yeah, the sun was beating down on us. Yeah. So, as many of the viewers already know, Love Gun abruptly closed on Monday, leaving us we were homeless. Too loud. What? We were too loud. Well, we weren't too loud. Yeah, we were too loud. No, we it was the, up. the party after us was too loud because we we were an early party, so there couldn't possibly have been anybody trying to sleep. Yeah, I um, I told in fact, sometimes our show may have put people to sleep. Um, well, I don't know about that. Um, I'm always being yelled at. Patrick's always yelling at me that I'm, I'm too loud. I'm too loud. Who is Patrick? He goes to bed. He's worse than you. Patrick goes to bed at like you know nine thirty, ten o'clock. 9.30, well, 10 o'clock, that's when I would go to bed. Yeah. Well, working people have to go to bed at 10. Well, well, he doesn't, well, you say working. Yes, he works. But he doesn't get it, he, he doesn't go to bed at night. He gets up, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning to go gallivant. Sounds yeah, good. He's a gallivanter. Well, I was tempted to gallivant, speaking of waking up really early in the morning to gallivant, uh, Shelter's having one of its, like, 7 a.m. to... to oh, man. The Body and Soul Party. I think it's next weekend. Well, speaking of shelter, I mean, um, did you speak to uh, uh, Joe Jordan? No. Should we? Uh, hey, Joe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about that off camera. Oh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> I was just thinking that maybe Joe might want to um, uh, go Joe? have work done at the shelter. Isn't he the one who tried to like organize a boycott of Patricia Field if they sold your T-shirt? That's what that's what people say. But then when I confronted him about it, he said, "Absolutely not. I don't know what you're talking about. I love you. I support you." All right, it was a misunderstanding. Then. Yeah. When when he said when they said boycott, he meant Michael selling shirts at Pet Boy. I gotta get some. Gotta get one. Oh yeah, boy, gotta get one. <laughs> we'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the view. Planet. I just shook the planet off its axis Our by, by, um, by uh, banging on the table. So, um, so yes, this is our homeless edition, and we are at the uh, beautiful Gotham West Market. Market. Makes you wonder, and with all with our, our the fancy food with course. our audience completely ignoring us behind us, uh, talking about other things, having beer and wine. Well, they've been waiting for you to show up for like an hour. So they're I, well, they're I mean, over. Just, I give them time to sort of acclimate to the new. And I was told to come to 47th Street at 6th uh, in I said Avenue. 45th. Well, I said 45th. I said 45th. Well, if, and if, even if you went to 47th and 11th, that, I know this that, area that's not your well. excuse for being an hour and a half late. No, I went to Chuck. I know this area very well. I was a top selling prostitute in this neighborhood many, many years ago. Okay. So, um, yeah. Lots of bad things have happened well, to us. Well, lots of bad things. I mean, I guess you would have to define that thing. Um, well, love got to close on Monday. And then on Tuesday night, I was having dinner with my friend Ingrid. And just, oh, that's awful. And just as I was about to take a sip of beer, the whole top of the beer glass broke off in my mouth. And I almost swallowed a shard of glass. Oh, my God. Was it, like, but was I did it. It's like, it, was it, was it cup already, like, cracked or something? It was cracked before I even took the first sip. So it just like the glass went onto my lip here and I was able to just pull it off. Oh. Um, but yeah, it was a close call. Yeah, there were shards of glass at the party I was at too. But <laughs> and then you fell downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, I fell downstairs. Um, well, no, I fell upstairs. I was going up these, this long, it, it was, looked like an Escher painting. Like the, it looked like the 5,000 fingers of Dr. T. You know, like, like a, a, a Dr. Seuss stairwell that goes like forever and ever and ever. It gets like tiny, tiny, tiny. It was on a hundred and fifty-fifth uh, street, and on the west side. You know where that, that big housing project is, out the um, the D train. You know where it is, and then you go up that like long, 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 long. I was running up it, talking to Ernie, and I tripped and fell up the stairs. And then, um, uh, and then we went to this um, 
uh, event <laughs> at Yotel, um, and um, where there were also shards of glass, um, uh, different kinds of shards of glass, um, and um, they were um, they were gal they were talking about gallivanting. They were all about, there was, uh, it was the first orgy I think I've ever been to, um, and uh, I was a little comfortable. And um, you were uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable. Um, it's Why were you overdressed for it? I was complete. I was the only one close. And um, because I didn't, wasn't sure that I was going to stay, I kind of like thought that I wasn't going to stay. And in what fact, was everyone else wearing? Nothing. And um, I should they have been wearing something? No, actually, oh, okay. they were all. Very, that was the thing, though. They were all very young. They were all in their twenties. And um, I am not. And um, the person who is was hosting the orgy. Um, had, didn't tell me that there was an orgy. They said it was just it was just one of them. And then when I got there, he was like, um, "Oh, um, well, um, I'll be, I'll come right down. I have something to explain to you." And he came down and explained to me what was going on. And I was like, "I don't know if I feel comfortable doing this." He said he'd let me get try to get rid of everybody. And I was like, "I don't know if I feel comfortable with this." Um, so um, I thought well, you had taken off your clothes. You might have gotten no, rid of everybody. No, yeah, well, yes, I would have gotten rid of everybody. So, but then he decided he didn't want to get rid of everybody, and he was like, um, it, well, he said, I, I can't get rid of them because they just got here, and I can't. So, um, maybe another time. And I said, well, and he we said, just got here, we all snorted so, crystal meth, and no, it would be I, rude to make them leave. They were on GHB and meth and everything else, and um, one of them was passed out, um, cold, and um, so I said, you know what, I'll go, I'll go look, I'll go see what's going on, and then I'll go look. And then we went upstairs, and they invited me, the, the guy, I, you know, it looked like really uncomfortable, so I went to the bathroom and um, the guy still gave me a blowjob. And um, so I thought that I would stay for a little while. And we, have you ever been at orgy? Um, I've been in threesomes and maybe foursomes, but a no four, orgy. A foursome is an orgy. Oh, I thought it was just a foursome. This was a five -some. Oh, okay. And a foursome, yeah, a foursome, anything over a threesome is an orgy. A foursome is an orgy. So we're Are laying you sure the bed. about that? Yes, I, yes, I'm pretty sure. In so, whose book? In my book. Where is so, it written? So we're laying down in the bed, and this guy's giving me a blowjob, and he was like, um, I think the other guy, other guys will feel more comfortable if you um, take off all these clothes and stay. I said, well, I, I don't think I'm going to stay. I'll, I'll just come and leave. I'll just come and go. <laughs> so, um, so he's giving me a blowjob, and he reaches over like, to jerk off some guy while, like, while he's giving me a blowjob. I guess that's what makes it in a wordy. And um, then he says to the other guy, um, get, why don't you give me a blowjob while I'm giving you a blowjob? And then you know what he said? He said, I only give my boyfriend one. And his boyfriend was the one passed out. And um, I was like, I said, um, you know what, that's really nice. I said, that, you, are, you are a really good boyfriend. Here you are in an orgy. Everybody high out of their minds and, under, and having, you know, having sex with it. And you are saying you don't want to give uh, an, a blowjob to anybody but your boyfriend. And then that turned off the guy who gave me a blowjob because I was suddenly like a person with feelings and like a, you know, like not a not, not an anonymous right piece and, of meat right. And um, then he was like, you know, you ruin the moment. This isn't working, and you know, maybe you know, it's just when I get together. But one other time, another time when we are like, you know, we're not in a orgy, and um, I said, okay, I wanted to go in. I felt really uncomfortable. I couldn't get fully erect because it's like, like I, you know. Bitches want to know. Our cameraman looks like he's. <laughs> Nia Mana wants to know. <laughs> Nia Mana wants to know if you're ever gonna go blonde again. Yes. <laughs> I mean, don't you think so? Uh, I think it's, why wouldn't you? I don't know. I haven't dyed my hair in 20 years. It can't be fun. Yeah, that's a summer thing. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll dye it. Well, you'll dye it? Rebecca will dye it. You know, Rebecca needs to dye it. Rebecca needs to dye it. I'll, I'll be here here too. Diet. Well, we've well, answered it again. I think she's about 20 pounds overweight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, See you next time. Bye.